Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, which is your station where you get to watch, learn and experience. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mongi, taking you through chemistry form 3, nitrogen and its compounds. So stay tuned and do pay attention. So what are the goals of this lesson? By the end of this lesson, uh, you'll be able to explain the chemical properties of nitrogen gas, which we have already prepared in the previous lesson. We'll now be able to state the oxides of nitrogen and see, we'll be able to describe how nitrogen oxide can be prepared in the laboratory, thereby after naming the oxides of nitrogen. So what are the chemical properties of this gas? Nitrogen, uh, let's start with its solubility. It is slightly soluble in water. So how does it burn? Uh, you realize that we discussed about the inert nature and therefore when it comes to combustion it does not support uh, does it have an effect on the Ritmus paper no reaction with the Ritmus paper so this indicates that the gas has no effect is that is the gas is neutral it is neither acidic nor basic uh, red rose petals no reaction does it have a specific test? None. So nitrogen is basically identified from its uh, negative uh, observation from all tests that can be conducted to identify uh, the existence of any gas. So what are some of the reactions of nitrogen? You realize that uh, under high temperatures, uh, the reaction uh, nitrogen will support burning or it will react with given metals or elements thereby forming their nitrides for example hot magnesium metal when lowered in a gas jar containing nitrogen uh, it continues to burn uh, to burn forming two compounds you realize that if it's in air it will give us magnesium oxide but since it is an gas is in a gas jar containing nitrogen the heat generated by the burning metal uh, is sufficient to break the triple bond yeah within within the nitrogen oxide uh, within the nitrogen uh, molecule thereby forming an ionic compound by the name magnesium nitride having giving uh, giving us the uh, chemical formula as illustrated so with oxygen at very high temperature once again uh, nitrogen reacts with oxygen to give us nitrogen 2 oxide which is not stable so uh, it will later be oxidized to nitrogen 4 oxide and that requires very high temperature so with hydrogen at specific condition basically in harbor, pro uh, harbor process where we may need uh, optimum temperature in presence of an uh, ion catalyst uh, it reacts with uh, hydrogen uh, giving us ammonia gas so what are the oxides of nitrogen uh, nitrogen has got three oxides nitrogen one oxide nitrogen two oxide and nitrogen four oxide so let's look at how we can prepare nitrogen one oxide in the laboratory so nitrous oxide also referred to as dinitrogen oxide is prepared by gentle heating uh, ge heating gentry or uh, ammonium nitrate uh, the setup illustrated here can be used to prepare this uh, gas so ammonium nitrate when heated decomposes to give us nitrogen one oxide and water so the equation for the reaction is as illustrated uh, here so the gas once again as you can see it is corrected over warm water so what does that tell us the gas is soluble in cold water so what about uh, what are the properties of this gas that has been prepared nitrous oxide is a rhenium molecule it has a boiling point of 88 degree negative 88 degrees celsius so basically it exists as a gas at room temperature and a melting point of negative 102 degrees celsius it is a colorless gas and has a faint smell sweet smell and it is used as an aesthetic yeah this was uh, in during the treatment 
of uh, uh, dental surgery and patients recovering from this uh, they raft hysterically and hence uh, this gas obtained its name uh, the roughing gas let's go to the other oxide which is nitrogen 2 oxide or nitric oxide uh, has the formula as NO it may be prepared through the action of dilute uh, nitric acid on copper metal uh, the react uh, the setup shown here can be a good example that can help us prepare nitrogen 2 oxide in the laboratory so we have a this funnel which will allow uh, nitric acid into the flat bottom flask containing the copper tannins and uh, we will uh, brown fumes of nitrogen uh, 4 oxide are uh, obtained why do we talk of uh, brown fumes you realize that uh, nitric nitric oxide or nitrogen 2 oxide is a very unstable oxide so it is quickly oxidized by oxygen in the atmosphere to give us nitrogen 4 oxide uh, which gives us now uh, the red brown fumes once again the gas is corrected over water the chemical equation for the reaction is as shown copper reacting with nitric acid to give us copper 2 nitrate nitrogen 4 oxide and water uh, what are uh, the other oxide is nitrogen 4 oxide which is now again prepared by uh, the same same uh, setup or uh, reagents uh, the only difference is that in preparing nitrogen 4 oxide we use concentrated nitric acid instead of dilute nitric acid so let's uh, see whether we have got the uh, the test uh, or got the concept of this lesson by answering the questions that we have here name the three oxides of nitrogen and light their chemical formula uh, describe bet uh, distinguish between nitrogen 2 oxide and nitrogen 4 oxide and lastly uh, using balanced chemical equation explain how nitrogen 2 oxide is prepared in the laboratory so you can refer this to uh, chemistry students book 3 or you can uh, visit our uh, YouTube channel in the uh, th through the numbers indicated on your screen or visit our Facebook page at Erimu TV underscore uh, KE once again I'm your tutor Mr. Mangi Francis and stay tuned for more lessons to come